there are a whole lot of scriptures that deal with the word love. We are covering the fruits of the Spirit, and love is the first one listed. And um, we'll see how long it takes us to get through all the verses. Today we will cover some Romans verses. So let's begin. Romans 5, verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Hope is that good expectation of our eternal salvation that is for those that love Christ. The hope, the good expectation of eternal salvation maketh not ashamed. This phrase, the hope and hope maketh not ashamed, really is saying that we are assured. That's the hope. We are assured of Christ's completing work in us as he pours out his Holy Spirit in us. He has proved himself to us. And as he pours out his heart and love towards us, then every Christian should have that same experience of that deep inner awareness of his love for us. And so we can boldly um, accept this gift and share boldly. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. That word shed means poured out, spilt, gushing out. That's quite a, a definition to the point of distributing, distributing largely. So we are to shed, distribute largely, spilling out this love of God by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. We can't do this on our own. We are sharing, we are distributing this love through Christ that has filled our hearts to overflowing. That's quite a um, commission, isn't it? To share love largely like that. Let's continue on. Romans 5 verse 8. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. When it says God commendeth, it means that he made a way of presenting his love to us. And I have to take my, I wrote too small, but uh, presenting his love to us by showing us and proving to us and establishing to us his love. It says, while we were yet sinners, we weren't perfect. He loved us enough that Christ died for us. And he demonstrated his love. He commendeth his love towards us and then he established it by proving that in his actions on the cross. Okay, let's go on to Romans 8:35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? And then down to verse 39, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature 
shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I wanted to read the two combined because they are connected in the idea here. It does not matter what we go through, whether it's tribulation, and I read them, tribulation, distress, persecution, whether we have no food, whether we have no clothes to wear or proper clothing. Um, he loves us and nothing will separate his love from us. He created us. We are dear to his heart. And his love is high and deep. You know, th there's another scripture that talks about as far as the east is from the west, he removes our transgressions from us. So height, depth, <laughs> wide. Now it says, nor any other creature shall separate us. Well, that creature is anything that originally was created. And think about creation, anything, any one of those things shall not separate us from his love towards us. And his love towards us is in Christ Jesus, our Lord, who is the one that came and demonstrated to us commendeth himself to us, lowered himself to prove to us how much he loved us. I hope that you feel his love wherever you are today. Corey Tim Boom had a, a saying that I really loved, says this, there is no pit so deep that God's love is not deeper still so wherever you are today may the love of christ reach in and cover you with his unending love